Hi, Brent Tech here. Where Tech is made simple. So currently in the stable version of Google Chrome, we have a feature called third-party cookies. And if we head over to that quickly um, in the settings, you can find that in settings on the privacy and security page, third-party cookies. And if we click on that, it gives you the option to allow third-party cookies, block third-party cookies in incognito, or totally block third-party cookies, which I have um, set uh, in my Google Chrome web browser for desktop, as you can see. Now, as I have been posting, um, Google is going to be phasing out third-party cookies totally in the browser. Um, and that will be completed by the end of next year, 2024. And because of this now, it seems that they are testing a new setting where they are going to be changing the name from third-party cookies uh, on the privacy and security page. Now, um, this tracking protection um, at the end of the day isn't really bringing too much new to the browser. It's really just a name change and um, it's going to consolidate uh, features to prevent tracking while obviously you are surfing online and browsing online. Now, if we just head over to Chrome Canary version 119, which is the latest preview version, um, this feature has already been hidden behind an experimental flag, which I've enabled already. And if we head over to privacy and security, we can see now that third-party cookies has been renamed tracking protection as mentioned and this is a feature that's been in development and um, is protection against third-party cookie domain tracking called 3pcd for short so if we click on that um, we can see here that although a little bit different in the actual ui things looking uh, quite the same when it comes to what the feature is actually doing so um, the, this tracking protection page, as we can see, has different options for you to choose your different level of protection. Now, standard is actually default, and that's a good balance between protection and sites working as expected. And then if we head to custom, this is where you can actually now block all third-party cookies. And just take note, though, that features on some sites may not work. So if we turn that on, obviously, it toggles on block all third-party cookies. And if we head back to the stable version, you get the idea. So uh, the UI looks a little bit different, but the features are more or less the same. And it's really just a name change and um, popping third-party cookies now into a feature and a page and a section called tracking protection. Now, to enable um, this tracking protection, if you are testing features in Google Chrome Canary, as an example, we just head up to our experimental flags page by typing chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags into the omni box and the address bar and the simplest would be to bring up the relevant flag would be just to type in a keyword so i'm going to type in tracking there we go and there's the flag tracking protection for 3pcd as mentioned the uh, description reads enables the tracking protection you are and preferences that will be used for the 3PCD 1%, and that's rolling out for Mac, Windows, Linux, Chrome OS, and all the relevant platforms. And as mentioned, um, 3PCD stands for Protection Against Third-Party Cookie Domain Tracking. So um, that's the flag you have to enable. Just restart the browser, and that will obviously then um, give you this new tracking protection uh, section. And um, it makes a little bit of sense that maybe Google is replacing third-party cookies with a feature called tracking protection now in Chrome Canary, which has been tested in preview, because as mentioned, um, by the end of next year, uh, third-party cookies are going to be phased out um, in the browser. And it it's makes a, a little bit of sense maybe that they are starting to deprecate the third-party cookies and rename it to th uh, tracking protection. But as mentioned, not available as yet in the stable version, early days. Uh, currently been tested in Chrome Canary, but just wanted to put it out there. And um, if you are following features uh, in preview, that could make their way eventually to the stable version of the browser. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.